Hey, it's Jack, KG7JQY. I am back in the shack today. Today I'm going to do some testing with and FL message using a PSK31 and a couple cheap Baofeng UV5R radios that we all have a bunch of. So what I'm doing here is I've got the about like what is this is the, the BTEC APRS cable. So I have a couple of these. I have my Android phone wired into one of these I'm going to take with me and we're going to do a few different points around my town. I'm going to just go on a walk and we'll stop and we'll, we'll test it. And then in my shack here I'm going to leave my other radio over here with my Android tablet. Um, and just to test this here I'm going to leave it locked how it's going to be. And I'm going to type in my message one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two three four five six seven eight nine zero I've learned it's good to have a string of text like that at the beginning in case there's any extra noise and you can also kind of make sure that when the mic's keying up that you don't like miss the first part of the message although I, with using PSK31 it hasn't been that big of a problem for me it's been a bigger problem when I've been playing with some of the other modes like the faster ones when you just send that first it's easy to miss the first part PSK31 is really slow and it seems to be the most robust, um, which is why I'm going to test that for now. We'll see how this goes, and maybe sometime we'll compare it to some faster modes and kind of see what we can figure out and make sure our squelch settings are set up right. So I have that, and then I'm just going to say test from shack, and then put my call sign, KG7JQY, and I'm going to send that. We won't be able to hear that because I don't have another radio here for that. Yeah, we'll go here. But I'm just gonna send I'm just gonna hit send text. It's transmitting. That radio over there is receiving. And the message has been sent. So let's check out the tablet and make sure that that got received here. So you know, see we got that Y N, which is this noise I think of it keying up, and then we got that one two three four test from track K G seven J Q Y. So that worked. So I'm gonna lock this, and now we're gonna go on our little walk, and we'll test this at a few points and see if it works, and we'll in the message say where we're at, and I'll later on draw a map and try to kind of see what we got. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so I didn't get any footage of actually doing the test. It's about an hour or so later now. I've done about a three mile walk or so around Amity. And I've stopped and done, I believe, 17 tests. So let's check out the iPad and see what messages we got. So it looks like we did get some data, so that's good. Okay, cool. So the test from the shack is the one we saw before. I'm going to see if I can fix this glare. Okay, looks like that should work pretty well. Okay, looks like position at Culver was the first one. That's before I added the test message number. That one looks like it came through. That one is line of sight. And I'll make a map in a, to put in here in a minute that shows once we kind of look at this data. Test number two. Looks like it went through fine. Test number three. Looks like it went through just fine. Test number four looks good. Test number five looks good. Test number six looks good. Test number seven looks good. Yeah, eight's good. Nine's good. Ten's good. Eleven's good. Twelve's good. Thirteen's good. Fourteen's good. Fifteen's good. Sixteen's good. Seventeen's good. That looks like it worked perfectly, which is makes me super happy. Because I basically went around the entirety of my local town. And if this works basically everywhere there, um, I'll have to do some more strenuous testing here and see where it breaks. So I might go run a couple more tests. But I'm going to make a map here and kind of show what I did and try to figure out the distances for each of these. But super happy with how that worked so far. Here is a diagram I made showing where the test locations were 
and the QTH there is where my base station is set up. So we're able to see here that I did have multiple tests from different places out well past, you know, a thousand meters. The farthest test at 1290 meters. Um, and at all these, they seem to work pretty well um, throughout the entire town. So that gives me pretty good confidence um, in the, knowing that PSK-31 will work pretty well for this. So I'm going to have to do some later tests going farther and see what I can do. But I think the next test I'm going to do here at some point is redoing this, but using a higher speed um, mode and starting to see where I run into problems and seeing what kind of baud rate I can push. But overall, this has been a pretty important test, I think, because I'm trying to feel out these digital modes for... VHF, UHF to kind of see what I can do. And tried and true, PSK31 seem to do really well. Um, but yeah, so that, that's cool. I've got a lot of radio stuff coming here shortly. I've been getting into some on the air and I've got a bunch of other videos in the works. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you thought this was interesting. I did. It's nice to know that I could pretty effectively just use a couple bow fangs and some android phones and my cables and get pretty good digital communications around my entire town thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video